Hello guys, hello viewers, welcome back once more to the GCE panel online. In the presentation of this uh, day, we are looking at the solutions the solutions of June 2023 pure math statistics paper 3 question 4. Please stay tuned to the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe, to like and to share and leave your comments. Alright, let's dive directly into the question. So this question reads, a discrete random variable x has probability mass function f defined by f of x equals k into 6 minus x for x equals 0 up to 5 and 0 elsewhere. Find a, the value of the constant k, b, the mean of x, c, the variance of x. In the second part of the equation, we are told that another variable y is such that y is equal to 4x plus 5 to find the mean and the variance of y. This question is a very, very cheap question. And questions like this, you are supposed to clear all the marks without leaving anything on 10. Now, let's tackle this question. So we have been told that what we have is a discrete uh, random variable x. Okay. And how do we find the value of the constant k? So we know that the sum of all the probabilities for each of the variables sum up to 1. So the sum of probabilities from i equals 1 to i equals n is equal to 1. So we are going to look for uh, the probabilities as follows. When x equals 0, we have k into 6 minus 0. 6 minus 0 is 6 times k is 6k. When x equals to 1, 6 minus 1 is 5 times k, 5k. When x equals 2, 6 minus 2 is 4 times k, 4k. When x equals 3, we have uh, 3k. When x equals uh, 4, 2k. When x equals 5, just k. The sum of all of this is going to give us 1. So from here, we have 21k to be equal to 1, and k is equal to 1 over 21. As simple as a, b, c. Hmm? Guys, please, if you are coming to this channel for the first time, you are joining us for the first time, please <coughs> take five seconds and click on that subscribe button below this video and also click on the notifications the truth is some of our videos you're not able to watch even part of these corrections you're not able to watch if you are not subscribed we are equally pleading on you viewers that please when you subscribe share these videos this the different whatsapp groups in which you find yourself share on facebook and why not if you have a donation to send to us click on the link below and send us a donation it's going to help and make us go a long way to produce more videos to help you and others who are in need thank you now the b part of the question reads the mean of x so for us to find the mean we have just given the summary of this table so if k is equal to 1 over 21 then the different probabilities will be we have 6 times k that's 6 over 21 5 over 21 4 over 21 3 over 21 2 over 21 and 1 over 25 or uh, 21 for us to find the mean the mean is defined as the sum of all variables times their probabilities so we are going to have for 0 0 times 6 on 21 for 1 1 times 5 on 21 for 2 2 times 4 on 21 then we are going to sum all of these that's going to give us the mean or the expectation so the expectation let's call it e of x or just x bar is given by the summation from i equals 1 to i equals n of xi times p of xi so this will be equal to as 0 times 6 on 21 plus 1 times that all of that and the sum will be 35 on 21 from this table okay so when we do all of that we are going to have 35 on 21 which is equal to 1.67 now to find the variance the variance is defined as the summation of each variable that's the sum of division squares times their probabilities okay so we have the sum of products of probabilities and division squares okay but this thing is too long let's just do it uh, the normal way or the simple way so you are going to have each variable that's zero minus this mean so zero minus 1.67 you square it and you multiply by this probability 6 on 21 so we have 1 also minus 1.67 all of that squared 
times 5 on 21, that gives us 5 on 21. 2 minus 1.67 squared uh, times 4 on 21. This, these are the different values that we have. So when we do this for all of these different uh, variables, okay, what are we going to have? We are going to have uh, the sum as 2.22, which is actually the variance. For the D part, please don't forget to subscribe and share. Another random variable y is such that y is equal to 4x plus 5. That's the next one they are defining. y is equal to 4x plus 5. From here, the mean of y will be equal to 4 times the mean of x times 5. Or the, sorry, plus 5. So we have 4 into 1.67 plus 5. And we simplify. So the mean of y is going to be equal to uh, 11.68. Now the variance is given by just the coefficient of x squared. So take coefficient of x and then we square. So we have 4 squared times x by uh, var x. So var y is equal to, for this uh, relationship here, we have 4 squared times var x. If it was 5 that were there, we have 5 squared times var x. If it was 2, 2 squared times var x, okay? This constant does not affect the deviation because when you have, you'll be adding and subtracting 5, it will be cancelling out. So this is going to give us 16 into 2.22, which is equal to 35.52. For equations like this, my dear friends, make sure you trash everything. Please don't forget to subscribe. As you watch this video, make sure you leave a comment. If you like it, leave a like. Leave your ideas. What are your emotions? How do you feel? What more should we do? If you need the complete paper, please click on the link below. If you want to buy the solutions from 2015 to 2023, Please click on that link below on WhatsApp and we are going to send it to you in PDF and you do your payment, whether in PayPal, bank transfer or mobile money, any of the forms. You want to donate? You want to donate? Use the same link. Thank you so much for watching. And the next question will be question five. Please share this video. Ciao.